Today in this 2006 Ford E350 van, we're going to install part number 14055 from Kurt. Alright, this is what the hitch looks like when it's installed on the van. Next, we'll go ahead and give you some measurements to help you out in selecting some accessories, such as a ball mount, a bicycle rack, or a cargo carrier. From the center of a hitch pin hole to the edge of a bumper is going to be about even with the edge of a bumper. And then from top of receiver opening down to the ground will be 18 inches. Now I'll go ahead and show you how the hitch is installed. We'll go ahead and install the hardware in the holes in the frame located here. There will be three holes on each side of the frame. We'll take the carriage bolt and the block and install it in the three holes. We'll go ahead and install the hardware on the passenger side, then repeat the same process over on the driver's side. Then we'll take a washer and we'll go ahead and tape it to the center hole on the hitch. Now if the hardware installed, we can go ahead and lift the hitch up in position. And it's definitely a good idea to have an extra set of hands to help do that. Make sure the washer stays in place as we put it up, and then we can go ahead and tighten down our bolts. We go ahead and tighten down the flange nuts. And then we'll torque them down as specified in the instructions. And with that, they'll finish it for our install part number 14055 on our 2006 Ford E350 van.